Hello everyone, it's me, Dilly Sims. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Speed Build Sunday, the day of the week where I build whatever I want because I can. So I built this modern house and I cannot think of what the name is. I forgot what I named it. I built it like, I want to say a week or two ago, but my life has been so busy. I had a birthday. I am now 23. Yes, <laughs> I am now 23 and I threw a really big birthday party because I love big birthday parties and that's why I've been kind of gone for the past couple of weeks, I think. I forgot when the last video I posted was, but I don't, it's been a long time and it's not, I'm not trying to avoid anybody, it's just, I, I don't know, it's kind of been nice just reconnecting with my friends since you know I'm not in school oh, so it's been a week it's been about a week since I've uploaded a video but it's kind of nice get it getting together with my friends since I'm not at school school does start up next week so that's gonna be fun get ready for a lot of school stories um what else oh it's been a lot of fun getting together with my friends hanging out getting coffees chatting not and not stressing that I need to get videos done or anything I and just you know whenever I feel like doing it I do it it's been so nice so thank you so much for not like asking me when things are coming out because that really would get apply a lot of stress to my life because in the back of my mind I always did think I should probably do this I should probably do that and having that in the back of my mind but nobody that actually saying, hey, Dilly, where's your next video? I haven't seen Disney Princess Challenge for a while. When's that coming out? So just think, thank you. You guys kind of gave me the freedom to literally live my life. It's been such a fun time. I'm, I went to San Francisco yesterday, and San Francisco is about a two-hour drive from where I live, and I had just such a fun time hanging out with my friend and walking through the city shopping i love shopping and all that so thank you thank i thank you guys for not for like giving me this time off <laughs> yeah and let me talk about my birthday because that is a big piece of why i needed time off i planned and i invited 80 over 80 people i'm gonna say over 85 people to my birthday party right and so I invited over 85 people. I sent invites. I spent money mailing the cards. It was a process. It was a really big party too, because the theme was the Royals. So I wanted to make sure all the, deco all the decor and everything else matched the theme. So like the Royal family, Kate Middleton, Prince William, Prince Harry, the queen. And so I had like roses on the tables. It was very bougie. As I am Every, we had a dress code to dress like you're going to a derby like the horse races or uh, a royalty party and it was just so nice and I got about 60 people who RSVP and RSVP and told me they were coming and imagine my shock and horror when I found that only maybe 30 people showed up and my mother and I prepared food for over 60 people It was, I have been eating leftovers for the past week. It has been, I'm, I'm so speechless. Why would you, and nobody told me, hey, nobody texted me saying, hey, I can't make it to your party. No one. So like 30 people said, yes, they're coming. They never showed up and never gave me a reason why they weren't showing up either. So, and it's those moments in your life where you can see who cares about you. You can see who's important in your life. And even, there was, I'm going to call him a complete stranger, but shout out to Ryan. I know you're never going to watch this, but shout out to Ryan. He showed up and I did not think, excuse me, that was a weird thing I did with my mouth. I did not expect him to show up, to be honest. Like, we met once. 
So I didn't expect him to, but he showed up. He had a fun time, and I was over the moon that he showed up. I'm. He was somebody who I again expected not to show up, as one of the thirty people who didn't show up. But that's neither here nor there. I'm very mad at them. One person texted me the next day saying, give, giving me an excuse. And then said, oh, um, I bought you a gift, though. So that kind of made up for it. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, it did make up for it. But at the same time, I would have liked a on the day of, hey, I can't make it because of this excuse. And nobody still hasn't given me an excuse. It's been almost a week now. I've been 23 for almost a week. Wow. Yeah. It's interesting. I don't feel different, obviously, because you won't. I don't feel like that you feel different going... I mean, of course you feel different when you age, but like from one day to another, you don't feel like, oh my God, I am all of a sudden 45 years older. No. <laughs> like you don't all of a sudden gain a whole bunch of wrinkles or anything. It's, I don't, I don't even know where I'm going with this. This is probably the worst voiceover ever. Ugh. Let me talk about school. I am so not ready for school mentally. I don't want to go back. I've, it's been so nice having summer off that I really truly just don't want to go back. I did so well last semester with A's and B's, and I just don't want to go back at all. It's... I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, finally, because I have two more semesters, and then I start the credential program so I can start teaching. But... I just don't want to do it. Like, I feel like I'm getting burnt out, and it sucks because there's only two more semesters, basically, until I graduate. And it last spring or the most recent spring whatever it was I was very happy and proud for all of my friends who I graduated with in in high school like they were graduating all at the same time so I was very happy for them but it was kind of hard for me to digest the fact that I'm a whole year behind because I went to MJC because it was kind of sad, like, seeing my best friend, gr who I went to high school with, graduate a whole year before me. It was... Ugh. But it's okay. And then people were asking me, oh, when are you graduating? Oh, and then it's okay that you take so long. I mean, nobody actually said it like that, but, you know, that's what went through my mind. <laughs> it's okay that you take your time. And I have a friend, actually, who is a year younger than me. Shout out to Angelique. I don't think you're going to watch this. If you do, shout out to you. Um, my friend Angelique, who is actually a year younger than I am, also went to MJC. And she's also going to be a whole year behind. So she kind of, she was telling, or we were talking about how we feel, I don't want to say inadequate, but like behind. And no one, I understand, like, mentally, no one should ever feel like they're behind. As long as they're going to college, getting the work done. You know, they shouldn't. You're doing it. It's, it's, a, te it's a test of endurance. How long can you last? Not a test of how quickly you can get it done. I am actually super envious because I know somebody who is younger than me and already graduated and went through the credential program. And I am so envious of those people who can, I was gonna say afford, whose parents can afford them to go to college and not work so they can put 110% of their attention in school and whose parents can uh, help them with school. Because I love my parents, I love my parents so much, but they have nothing higher than an, a high school diploma. And you know what? My mother and father had to work for that, and I'm so proud of them. But it kind of... I'm so envious of the people whose parents went to college and knows things and can help me. So I don't have to go talk to, let's say, what is it called? 
a counselor or something. There you go. A counselor or an advisor, depending which college you go to. When I was at MJC, they called them counselors. At um, the university I go to now, they call them advisors. So, but it, it must be so nice and I'm so envious of those people. And their parents went to college, so they make a lot of money and so then this person that I know doesn't have to work, n never really have to work because their parents went, literally can afford college for them. This is, this sounds like me complaining. It's just me being super envious. Like their parents can afford college for them and can send them or can afford college to them for them. So they don't have to work at all. And they could just put 110% of their attention in school. And again, this person graduated in high school. Like they were a year under, under me and they already graduated from college in four years and went through the credential program. That takes so much work and dedication. And I would have loved to be able to do that if, first of all, I could afford college and my parents could afford college because college is expensive. And if I didn't have something like a job that required me to work five days a week, it would have been so nice. If this is you, if you are the person, uh, type of person who can afford college, I'm not like criticizing you. I'm just very envious and just be, excuse me, I I'm fidgeting with my chapstick. If you heard of that, if you can be, if that was you and like your parents could afford college and you didn't have to work and you could just go to school, I'm envious of you. And just remember to be grateful because not everyone could can have the same luxuries you have. I actually know somebody whose parents could afford college or afforded them college and they didn't have to work. I know multiple people actually, but this person in particular, I was talking to them and I was like, oh yeah, I, I go on to rate my professor and I, because I'm so bad at math, I try to pick the easiest one to make my you know life easier. And this person, he had the audacity to tell me Oh, I know I don't do that type of stuff because, you know, you're never going to be able to pick your boss in the future. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. Er, so why do you want to pick your professor? Because you're not going to be able to pick your boss or something like that. And that really grinded my gears because he said that and I knew or I know that his parents afforded him college. So if he wants to he can bomb a class and that'll be completely fine because mommy and daddy paid for classes if i fail a class right now i have financial aid that does cover some of it so my financial aid will cover that or well i mean won't cover all of it i'll have to pay for that class again if i fail it which i already failed one um science class and it made me so angry because i really don't want to take it again it's uh, chemistry. Yeah, chemistry. I have to retake chemistry because I failed it. And it was my first semester at the university. And the professor was awful. So this is what happens. When you transfer over to the university, they put you all of the... Because I'm a liberal studies major because I want to be a teacher. They put all of the liberal studies students together and they say, Quick, pick classes before you run out! And so everybody in the university already picked the classes that they wanted so that leaves all the undesirable classes like the classes at six o'clock in the morning the classes at eight o'clock at night and um the really crap teachers or the teachers that are really new and nobody knows about them so nobody's written reviews so that's i got a really crap teacher like really crap and then i after i got the teacher and I was in the middle, I was in the middle of the semester of their class and I was just struggling. And I decided to look up this teacher on Rate My Professor. So on Rate My Professor, you get, the teacher is graded on a one to five scale. This professor had a 1.1 .1 out of five. It was so bad. It was just bad review after bad review. And it was all stuff that I could relate to. Like the teacher was just so awfully bad. Yeah. But I am getting really close to the end of the video, guys. Let me know what you think of this video. If there's a certain build you would like to see done, 
Please let me know in the comment section below or even email me pictures of houses you would like to see done. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all those fun YouTube things. I'll catch all of you guys next time. Bye everybody.